Hi there, this is Punch, and in this video, we are going to install the Slick Browser module in Drupal 8. So, first, okay, so this is by localhost, local Drupal installation. So, Slick Browser basically creates a slideshow that creates the best slideshow that is possible for a Drupal website. It just takes images from your, uh, from your content from a content type and not just images other stuff also and uh, it can make it convert it into a slideshow using blazy and the slick library jquery and blazy so for that we to install slick so this is a slick page slick browser page so first of all we need to download this i'm using drupal 8 so I need to use these three requirements need to meet these three requirements. Let's open these. Okay, so this is a repo by Ten Wheeler only for slick. Let's download this. Also I'm going to clone this also. This is the jQuery easy plugin repo. So, there, and also I'm going to install this. I'm going to copy this link. I'll go to extend. install new module I'll paste this here also I'm going for slick browser I have to cop I'll copy this slick and fail to fetch projects mm. or oh, we'll just download this and paste it in the lazy directory if project from the link is not working so let us just download the zip file let's try slick browser i think this will install no okay so we'll download this also let us go to the folder I am extracting these now. Okay, so we just need to copy these in our module folder in the working directory. Okay, this is my oh, wait. Yeah, this is my local host installation folder. So my Drupal folder, I'll paste the Blazy and the Slick module in the module folder and the other two libraries in the libraries folder. I'll create a folder. Libraries. sorry okay so I'm going to copy those two in my library slick master and jQuery easing master in my library folder we need to actually we need this part we need this one I'll just delete this. Also, we need to re rename this to slick. And this also contains. Yeah, we need this part. So, I'll paste this here. Mm. Yeah. So, and we need to rename this easing. 
okay so our libraries are here now i'll go back for my slick and lazy i'll paste in here okay i'll paste this one in the modules directory just delete this and slick in the modules directory let's delete this okay so this is set up let us go back to our local host oh uh, extend let's close this okay now we can see that slick ui and slick is here but it requires lazy so let's install lazy and lazy ui okay blazy is installed now let us install slick slick and slick ui let's install this okay so let's go back to site okay so for implementing the slick module to a slider there are different ways that we can do that i'm going to do it by selecting the content and creating the images into a slider so let's go to structure i'll create a content type or i think i'll just edit article yeah we can even edit article i'll manage fields image i'll change the image storage settings so that i can have multiple images in my article if you want a different one to have a slider we can create a, a different content type for that well this will just create a slider in every article i'm just displaying how to install this slick and how to use this slick module it is up to you how where you implement it where you use it i'll play save this i'll keep it to unlimited we can give it three four as many slides as we want uh, now i'll go to manage display okay here under image i'm going to select format as slick image so this has now been set as slick image i'm going to settings this will give us the settings these we have a lot of settings for slick so we can set the option settings we can have option set thumbnail also we can select skins classic will this will select i can even select full screen full width grid for foundation split for now i'm going to select classic can thumbnails we can select them image styling well my images are already of the same size so i am going to select none thumbnail style we can select the thumbnail thumbnail effect hoverable static grid whatever you want these are just media switcher settings caption if we want a caption we want a title we can enable this field alter we can add the alternate text up to every image well, these are just different the even we have sizes for uh, the images max width descriptor this will help us with the responsiveness of our uh, of our slider we can uh, put any value we want the max width and minimum width values so maximum width will be like it is the css property that if our screen has to be the width of the certain 
width and before that uh, so that our slider can respond to that width and it can uh, resize itself so I'm just gonna update this I'll save so let's go back to site I'm going to create an article again you can select any content type you can create your own content type for that this is a local installation this is dummy installation so I'm just using an article let's name this flowers we can add body anything this page is about our this article is about flowers okay tag I'll choose an image I have the images with me well they are on the flowers I already have the images set to a certain height and width I can even change that I can set my own image tiles let's just get it through okay so we can even set the order for our slideshow here let's save and we can see that our slideshow is here the slideshow made by uh, made by slide the slick carousel and it is fully fu functional and so you can even drag and all so this is a slideshow made with slick carousel by using the slick library the jquery easing library uh, repo and uh, the blazy module so that's how we install slick on our drupal so thank you